So another quick tip video for you today, I'm going to show you how to connect a MIDI keyboard such as this one behind me here to an Android tablet or phone such as this uh, using a couple of simple cables, really simple. Uh, and then after that I'll show you if you want to record any sounds that you can make on your phone using the keyboard into your computer, I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, more similar videos to do with recording music at home, tips and tricks, then please like and subscribe for much more. So on your phone or tablet, unlike on a PC or laptop, you're not going to have a USB connection where you can plug that straight in. What you're going to have is a much smaller connection which you'll be used to using for your char as your charging port for charging the phone. You can see there. So this is um, a fairly recent phone, the Motorola phone. Uh, it's a USB-C type port there, but this will work for older type phones uh, with slightly different connections. You just need to make sure that when you're buying the right converter cable, you double check what type of connection it is there. So for this type, you'll order one of these simple cables, which are really cheap off Amazon, which takes that small USB connection there, which can plug into the phone. And then at the other end, it has a female type USB port like you would find on a computer or laptop. And simply that is what goes in like so. And there you go. And if I quickly come over to the mini keyboard here, you'll see that the blue LCD screen has come on there. So that means it's on, there's lights as well powered on. So the phone power on its own is enough to power this USB MIDI keyboard. Um, it's hard to believe, I know, but it is possible. Um, some MIDI keyboards, uh, some models have their own power source, so that will have to be plugged in, obviously. But for most of them, the power from the phone should be enough to, uh, to turn it on. So now I'm plugged in, there's plenty of apps you can download to test this out. Uh, loads of different synth apps and stuff that are paid for, but plenty of free ones as well. This one here, Perfect Piano, is quite good and free. So we'll just load that up. And it has automatically connected for me, but if you need to check, just go onto the menu, click MIDI keyboard, and you should see there, that is Focusrite Impulse Connected. You can see it, it, it's recognized it, so it should work. So if we go over to the keyboard now. And now let's try testing a, a few notes to see what it sounds like. It should work. So there you go. Move up and down the octaves and things. And it works just like that. Now that's all well and good, but the speaker that you heard there was just the phone speaker or you could plug headphones in if you want to just hear the sound directly. If you want to get the sound to come out of some bigger speakers such as studio monitor speakers, then what you're going to need to do is get the sound out of the headphone jack, which is pretty standard on all Android devices or tablets, little as you'll be familiar with, 3.5 millimeter connection such as that. So that gets plugged in there and then to go out to two different speakers, you'll need a Y-type cable which splits off. So it's one stereo type output from the 3.5 millimeter which goes off into two mono outputs to either speaker, those kind of quarter inch jack. And I'll put a link in the description for the type of cable that you'll need to do that. And they just plug in and there you can hear the sound much louder and it's much better for playing along at home. Uh, and then you can use that same cable if you want to connect to a laptop or computer to record you'll just need um, some way of getting that in, in there. And that the most standard way is using an audio interface, such as this, which has these different inputs on the front. And that will, what an audio interface does, if you're not familiar, is it either converts an audio signal to a digital signal, which a computer can understand, a series of ones and zeros, or the other way around, converts a digital signal to an audio signal. So here we wanna take the audio signal from the phone and get that in, turn that into a digital signal which a computer can understand. So again, that 3.5 millimeter connection goes into the phone, splits off into two of those so you can record in stereo. If it's a, if the app is produce, producing sound in stereo, i.e. there's different sounds left and right, those two cables go into your two inputs on your audio interface like that. And then that will connect by USB to your laptop. And I'll quickly show you how you can record that sound from your MIDI keyboard through your phone into some free software. I'll show you on Audacity now 
uh, how that can be done, but there's loads of software that you can use. For so we've got everything connected. I've opened up Audacity on the computer. Uh, this is free software, I'll put a link to if you haven't seen it before so you can download it. Uh, but there's loads of different DAW software which will allow you to record what you play into your laptop. So this is just Audacity, um, which you can get on Windows and Mac. Uh, in here, you'll want to, first of all, by default, it has to record here. This is a recording device, will be your laptop microphone. So you want to change that to be your audio interface that is the recording device. Um, Audacity, you'll probably need to go up here to the menu, click on transport, and just rescan for audio devices. And then here where it says built in microphone, you should be able to just drop down from there and select your audio interface. So mine's a Scarlett 2i for USB. And that, when I play, it should produce some signal. You can hear that going through. And if I just click record, hopefully we'll see the audio waveforms appearing, showing that that piano I'm playing through my phone is recording. Some terrible piano, but you get the idea. So there you go, really easy, well, pretty straightforward. Plenty of cables involved, but once you've got all this all set up, you can record from your phone into your laptop using those few simple steps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, please subscribe for many other videos to do with various tips and tricks around your home studio for playing music at home and recording music at home.